my sense is that the outside, the outside spending uh, will be to the benefit of the Republicans. Uh, you know, there's going to be significant amounts spent on the Democratic side. I mean, clearly the labor unions themselves have said that they will be more engaged in this election than any in the past 20 years. And that's a significant amount of funding. Uh, but it's the case that uh, if you look right now at the agenda facing uh, the Congress and you look at the sunsetting of the Bush tax cuts, if you look at Dodd-Frank, if you look at further financial regulation, the upcoming budget cuts, there is an agenda on which you know, the interests that tend to be allied with the Republican side uh, have a very high stake in uh, participating. We're seeing more money flow into those entities now than into any of the Democratic entities. And I think it's still an open question as to how much money you're going to see get developed on the Democratic side. You know, in 2004, when you had uh, the realm of 527s, there was disproportionate funding on the Democratic side compared to the Republican side. Uh, well, you saw last uh, election in 2010, uh, a substantial advantage for uh, these Republican groups over the Democratic groups. And so far, I don't see any signs that that's going to change. Uh, you know, the real question will be to what extent can kind of the president's uh, shift of position and more aggressive fundraising on a part of congressional leaders start to provide some significant funding to these Democratic PACs.